I've heard enough of your opinions, miss. Is that so? Yeah. Now make yourself useful. And the first part of useful is not driving me insane with your constant complaining. I ain't complaining. You are! Complain, complain, complain! Hey. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down, or you're gonna be missing a hand. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <gasps> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me, then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. You cool down then yet? I guess. But I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. Huh. Where's that letter? Well, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> He ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! You insane! I thought we was outlaws! Outlaws! Not idiots! We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there, you buy some food to eat. 
no guns. You sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Good day to you. Hey, watch yourself. How can I help you, miss? It's Mrs. So I need potatoes, carrots, onions, flour, oats, salt, eggs, apples if you got them. Sure, not a problem. Big family, have you? Something like that. And you sell clothes? We do. Not the widest range of latest fashion, I'm afraid. That's all right. I'll look at everything you got. Of course, Mrs. Kilgore. What? You don't even trust me to handle the shopping by myself? Yeah. Some ointment, all right? For a private matter. Now I really must be going. Don't mention this to Vera. You want paying, you get back to it. Sir. How do you do, sir? Well, hello. Hey, friend. How do you do? Did you hurry up already? I'm working. What is taking you so long? Listen, lady, I got it all in the wagon there. I could train my goat to do this faster. We ain't bored. We ain't got all day. I'm going as fast as I can here. Woo. I did hear that. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for any goddamn help. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady. Get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Yep. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know. I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, 
My house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you... Uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. You Steve. need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Go! Go, go, go! Shit! Let's get the hell out of here! Go! See what they got on them. It ain't pretty, but it's what we do. What are you doing? We should get out of here. Probably shouldn't linger here too long. No, pass those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Idiot. We show those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad Whoa. side. Hey, take it easy. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Hey, watch it! So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of quality. Not a chance. Hello? You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. Ah. Uh... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> <sighs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Next time we run an errand together, remind me to pack more bullets. Come on, Arthur. Don't pretend that wasn't kind of fun. 
I guess. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay, then. I posted that letter for you. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Anytime. Hi. My lady. You must be nervous, being this close to the water. Oh, don't you start. <laughs> I was just looking out for you. Folks seem happy, Mr. Morgan. We have been provided for. That we have, Reverend. Have a fine time, sir. He's still here. Hi, Morgan. Don't go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, hey, it's silly. funny. What's in and up down here? My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long, old gosh. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. Behind you. Okay, go! Idiot. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. 
see what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, ho, ho. this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Gentlemen, well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hogan McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you! I, shit! I, the Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train! Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. I'm slipping. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Idiot. Now get after the others. Come on. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train.
some gin? Come on! Bring him out here. Deputy. It sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit, I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Grays have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. Oh, good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Fellas, carry him over then. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However... I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Now, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. 
His lot, Gray's, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold. Marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's it. Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Hmm. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaite's. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea. Why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Gentlemen, follow me. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Where is this spot, Hosea? Timbuktu? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Greg? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't sing the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. If he thinks we can be useful to him, he can certainly be useful to us. A little hiding in plain sight. I feel like we're always hiding in plain sight. But sometimes more smartly than others. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Whoa!
I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. <coughs> Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? <coughs> oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Be uh. <sighs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. Enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Head towards the middle of the lake. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Come on, Arthur. Don't be nervous. Where's your rod, Arthur? You won't catch much without a rod. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big, like a sturgeon. Along with a good old worm. Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Don't give up, Arthur. You'll get the hang of it. Are you trying to make your lure look like a dead fish? They won't be interested if it ain't moving. Something's nibbling. Got one. Damn it, I lost him. You got something biting, Arthur. Nice, you hooked him. I think that's a bite. There, hooked him. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fellow told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of St. Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckons. <laughs> I would like to see that. Hey, Hosea. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, oh, this again. I don't think I do. Oh yeah. You do. 
He was maybe 20. 21, walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast, toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. I got a bite. There we go. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge. And out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. You got a bite there, Arthur. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed the lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I like it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Anchorton's had patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. That feels like a bite. Ha! Got ya! Got a nibble there, Arthur. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers, <laughs> somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. You hooked him? You're getting the hang of this. Oh, Arthur's pleased with that one. Arthur's got a bite. Well done. Yeah, that's a keeper. Looks like you got a bite, Arthur.
Not bad, Archer. That'll drill up nice. Nicely done, Arthur. Make sure you don't forget about that and let it rot in the bag. You got a bite. Now reel him in, Arthur. There you go. That's a nice one. Keeping that one, eh? Just gotta reel him in now, Arthur. Good job, Arthur. Well, worth keeping that one. Are you just spectating now, Arthur? Call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. Think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me. 
I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know. Well, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Just a, just a few bucks. And I'm short. Get lost. <sighs> Oh, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Hey there. Hey there. You seem in a good mood. <laughs> I do. It was a greedy bugger. And hungry too. I hadn't eaten in three days. So I thought to myself, I'll rob this pair of bastards. So I followed them out of the bar. It was a dark night. I fallen down this alleyway. As I pulled out me gun to threaten them with imminent death, they just stood there laughing at me. I felt like a six-year-old. Go ahead, they says. Shoot us. So I did. Bang, bang, bang! Uh-uh. The bastards have spotted me at the bar and taken the bullets out of me gun. So I stood there laughing and crying. And rather than kill me, they took me and got me some food. And that, of course, was that. Are 
you're still just as useless at Robin now. It's you who's getting slow, old man. I'm in my prime. God help us. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Whatever you say. Is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember my old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. Look out, Molly. Gonna be fine, Dutch. That's what I like to hear. Oh, that was fun today. Huh. You didn't have to chase that train. So, what do you think? What do you mean? About those two families. The rich ones in the big houses. I don't know. Go have a look around. See what you can find out. Calmly, I mean. Sure. Dutch and I, we both think there's money to be made. I hope so. <laughs> I'll see what I can find out. And flying too, no doubt. There he is, the proud Englishman. Don't fight other man's battles, boy. And anyway, my family weren't even English. Whatever you say, King Arthur. <laughs> Didn't Dutch tell you to take a lookout? What I do and don't do ain't no concern of yours. At least I still give a damn about this gang. You don't give a damn about nothing Arthur? but yourself. You know Mike is running things now? Only thing Micah runs is his mouth. Dutch will see through both of you. I'll make sure of that. What an idiot. He just gets under my skin. Damn drunk. Thank you, Arthur. Hey, I didn't tell Dutch about the little diversion on our supply run. Why not? I'll fight any time and any place. Yeah, and that's the problem. Like your new home? I won't miss that other place, that's for sure. Keep your nose clean. All right, well, I should be getting on. Yep, all right, man, see ya. stupid thing I ever heard. Aside from all the other stupid things he used to say, of course. But now I know exactly what he meant. Guess that's age for you. It's humbled better men than me, and it's sure humbling me good and proper. Like I deserved. I ain't being a very good man. I know that, but right now, as I approach my reckoning, guess one thing I can do is try to teach you boys about the many errors of my ways. You okay? 
I ain't repenting. Except for one thing. I wish I had acquired wisdom at less of a price. Except my head was too damn hard to learn quicker. Stupidity is all I am sorry for. Worst stupidity of all is not listening to them as knows better. We should go fishing again soon. That was fun. Yes, I needed that to clear the mind after everything. Yep. You like the new camp, Reverend? Oh, yes. We moved, didn't we? God help us. You okay with this spot for now, Mr. McGuire? Ah, oh, sure. I like to keep moving, I do. It's in me blood. Along with a lot of whiskey. You okay, Uncle? Yeah, I'm gonna do some sniffing around, see if I can drum up some leads. Well, do it quietly. Hello, Uncle. You joining us? Well, I should get back to it. All right. Hey, then. Javier. All right, then. All seems Take quiet, Charles. Hey. You all right there? I think so. Problem? Not any new ones. Hey, John. Hey, Arthur. You ever think about the old days? Sure, sometimes. A lot's changed since then. Sounds good. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Hey, Pearson. Poor Otis had a wife to mourn for his life. Three children, they were brave. Hi, Arthur. Mr. Summers? Hey there. Sean! Hi there, Arthur. 
You behaving? Yes. Are you? You're so damn full of yourself, ain't you? Ah, shut up, you drunk bastard. Bell told me that was my daddy. Micah Bell, like his daddy, too. They are wild horses, they was. Father and son, and then me. At one point, my daddy was wanted for murder in five counties. Five! Never did suffer fools. Damn near killed my brother one time. But my brother always was a fool and a coward. Yellow as pissed on snow. Never could stand him, <laughs> nor his wife. Lives over in California by the sea. Pathetic. What kind of a man lives by the sea, I ask you? Hmm? Huh? Huh? Kind of man that gets told where to live by his wife. <laughs> Ain't no woman never told me nothing apart from make yourself scarce. And that suits me about fine. Micah. Morgan. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Lemoyne wouldn't be my first choice, but this is a good spot. It's just for now. You okay? Hey, Arthur. So, what do you think of this place? Seems fine for now. I know this area a little. Is there anywhere you ain't been, Jose? Hey, Arthur. Mary Beth. Doing a good job there. Thank you. Sorry, shouldn't distract you. Okay, then.
show up now. I figured this might be of interest to you. There a war on I don't know about? How the hell you get it so beat up? Here you go. So long. Oh, don't let old man Wagner see you wearing that. Ah, it's you. Hello, mister. Real good doing business with you.
Let me go. I'll come back for you. I promise. Whoa, whoa. Yep, yep. You might be interested in this. Well, ain't this a lovely little thing? Deal. Don't spend it all at once. Oh, easy. Yeah.
sit here forever. All that blood. You got yourself into something. You know. Thank you, Arthur. You know, my mama was born in a field. Have to do with a few improvements. Literally. Why don't you take a look at my idea? Birth. Right in the field. No, I reckon I need to get my hands on some materials took my mama first. Away and made my grandmama get up. Boy, and finish picking. Overseer was sweet on her. And used to rape her. After she was set free at the end of the war, he tried it again. And she killed him with a knife. They nearly lynched her, but she ran away and my mama never saw her again. Cambiado por otro hombre más inferior que yo, ángel de amor. Hey. Tu pasión no la comprendo. Si la comprendo, no la puedo expresar. Mr. Morgan. Hey, Pearson. Something you need there, Mr. Morgan? Vodka? Hello, Arthur. Ah, uh, maybe you ain't as bad as all that. Someone's been drinking. We can get along. All right, Morgan.
I'm sleepy. You know, you're okay. For an asshole. Look at me. Oh, gosh. Man, you're a real creep, Morgan. <sighs> you fellas, man. You fellas. I, I love you fellas. I do. Do you? Sure. I mean, you're all, you're all dumb and innocent and stuff. <laughs> it makes my heart warm. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> hey, what what is your story anyway, Micah? I told you. I guess I missed it. Well, then I guess you'll have to listen closer next time. I'm drunk as a lord. Oh, me too. I'll see you later. Oh. You going to get up? Hey, Javier. Arthur Morgan. <laughs> 